Hey friends, it's Tracy. I am back again with another fun Santa video. Guys, these paintbrush Santa ornaments are something that I've created in years past, but I wanted to kind of update them again this year and they were so fun and easy to do. I'm going to show you my way of making my cute Santas, also how I hand lettered the tag and all of the cute little embellishments. Guys, Thank you so much for being here. I love to share country rustic crafts with you. So if that is something that you like, you may like my paintbrush Santa ornaments. Let's get started. I'm starting with this pack of two brushes. They're chippy brushes from the Dollar Tree. They have a wood handle on them and has the, you know, the brush on them. These are two inch paint brushes and so I am going to paint them with primary red paint let them dry now I want to kind of point out those ribbon rolls those work great by you know just sticking at the end of my paintbrush in there and letting it dry I just use that to my advantage okay so then uh, once that's dry then I'm going to put on this Santa face and I'm just going to be making a circle the paint I'm using is medium flesh by a ceram coat and I just make the circle like that usually I put it on there with one coat now for the cheeks I'm going to go ahead and use coral color paint I just use my uh, stencil brush to do that it's a little wispy and I like the more up and down cheeks and so that's what I do I just take my time just go on and just kind of put as much on there as I want to now uh, the next thing I'm going to use is this caulk and I like to get it from the Dollar Tree and so this is what I'm going to do put it on there like that I kind of do like you know <laughs> kind of like frosting a cupcake or something like that and so I just kind of like take my time just do my caulk go around and then kind of do a point down at the bottom like where the beard would go then I will go back and actually do the uh, back part of it as well and then let that completely dry I don't want to forget about his eyebrows so I just take a skinny stick and just do some eyebrows there at the top now I want a little distressing and I do this or achieve this by just using some brown paint and then I water that down. I'm just using a punch cup and then actually one of those scruffy brushes that come out of that paint pack that I do uh, like that is listed in my Amazon shop. This works great for this. So I just kind of water down that brown paint and just go over the Santa beard just to give it some distressing. Then I just use a baby wipe or our Kleenex to get off any of the excess. So you can see here the one in my left hand is distressed and the one on my uh, right in my right hand is the one that is solid white. Okay so I'm showing you this uh, yarn. Now I have had this for many years but a sweet friend uh, did say that she found some of this yarn that I use for the mustaches over at Michael's so that might be something that you may look. I had thrown the tag away so I just really don't know what it's called and then what I do is I just take it around two fingers and then I wrap it four times around those two fingers I cut off an extra piece tie it off in the middle then I'm using my cutter B scissors because they're very uh, sharp and they kind of get in between those loops because that is uh, I want to cut those loops apart so that I get the fluffiness for his mustache. For the details of his face, what I'm using is my number two flat paint brush. I'm just using some black paint and going to uh, put two slashes at the top, kind of connecting uh, there at the top for his eyes. Now that's the look that I like, but you could also use the end of a paintbrush to give two dots or a Sharpie marker to draw the eyes the way that you like them. Okay, so I'm sharing this here because I had uh, decided to put some, you know, highlights for the cheeks. And on one of the Santas, the one on the left, I kind of put uh, antique white. Nah, I didn't like that. It was too dark. So I pulled out my white paint and put the white uh, kind of whimsical 
features on the cheeks. All right, so for the eyelashes, I just decided this day to use my ultra fine Sharpie marker and just put some eyelashes for Santa's cheeks. And then just using my little detailing brush, just putting the white in the eyes. And for whatever reason, I forgot to click uh, record on my camera. I just put some white uh, stripes on the paint brushes just with my liner brush. And so I did that all the way around. So then I also added some black and white paint splattering like I like to do on all of my projects. Then once that was all totally dry, I did sand them just to expose a little bit of the wood. And then I am giving each of them a coat of this varnish that I like to use. And you can find that varnish at any craft store as well as in my Amazon shop. Okay, so then for the nose, I like to use little miniature wood plugs. This is one fourth inch wood plug that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And so then I just glue those on there right in the center. And then to give it some color, I'm using that coral color paint that I also used for his cheeks. I'm using that just to stipple on a little bit of the paint to give him a rosy red nose. Then I'll use my detailing brush just to give a little swoosh on the top just for a highlight. Once I get the nose on, then I will add the mustache there just with hot glue. So I decided to make some miniature signs to add as a tag for my Santa. So I just have some ivory color cardstock, an ultra fine Sharpie marker, and some distress ink. Now the only place I can find di true distress ink is from Amazon. And so I do have that listed in my Amazon shop. So I'm just writing out Santa for one tag. The next tag I will write out Merry Christmas. So I'm just gonna kind of let this go and uh, just, you know, kind of show y'all how I just hand letter by just using the ultra fine Sharpie marker. Then I go back and make my happy dots with the fine Sharpie marker. I'm going to rip the edges uh, to give it and then give it some distressing the way that I like. And uh, y'all have seen me do this many times on my videos. So I'm just going to kind of let it go and let y'all watch me do my little magic and all glory to the Lord for the gifts and the talents to share with so many fun and sweet friends here. I also added some uh, black stitching around each of the signs just to give it a more whimsical rustic look. So I pulled out my glossy accents and just kind of painted over the tag. Now I tried to go uh, gently and not too much because that distress ink does tend to smear. So then I wanted to glitter them up and so I needed something wet for my glitter to stick to and my glossy accents is great for that. Guys you can get it at any any craft store or you can look for it on Amazon. Okay, so then I'm gonna use some homespun fabric and I just chose this green and red one. Uh, now homespun fabric you can get anywhere at Hobby Lobby, Walmart has it, or jubileefabric.com is another place that you can get fun uh, homespun for any day or as well as holidays. So then here I have all of my like embellishments that I'm going to put on my Santa, but I ended up not using those berries or the greenery. So I have just some very small jingle bells. Now I'm not quite sure what the size of these are. I just had a whole bunch of them that I rusted up. And so I just had them in a cup so they were not in a bag, but I think I got the bag from... Dollar Tree and then I rusted them up using my friend Linda's rusting technique. Okay so then what I did is I just threaded them on a piece of wire and then uh, just stuck it at the top of that where that hole is uh, on the Santa on the paintbrush. So I'm using my wire curling tool the the most smallest one that they have. I will insert a link here and then as well as in the description I have a link of where you can find these curling tools and it just really helps uh, if you you know have problems curling wire okay so then now um, I'm just gonna put a very small hole using my wire uh, hole punch uh, I do have a link for that as well it's located in my Amazon shop and so then I just take a piece of thread just very thin thread and then make some you know just thread it through 
the tag and then I tie a knot there at the top so that it kind of holds it and then I'll attach it at the top where those jingle bells are so that it, it hangs nicely on my Santa ornament. So I'm taking a strip of that homespun that I had torn off and just uh, poking it through the hole of the paintbrush up at the top. Then I'm going to tie it off just for a hanger for my Santa. And these make cute little gifts for co-workers, uh, craft show sellers, for uh, neighbor gifts, or something like that. And so I just knot it there at the top. And then uh, to finish it off, I was going to put some greenery and some berries and stuff on it, but I just really felt like just the tag and just all the cuteness uh, of the Santa face really just did it justice. So it really didn't, you know, need anything else. So I just am tacking it there, that little a sign or tag so that it doesn't move and this is how they turned out I love them so much and I hope that you do too and if you make some please don't forget to share them with me over in my country charm crafty community or send me a picture through Instagram or Facebook <music>